My name is Alex Sigmund. I'm a first lieutenant with the 1st of the 130th Attack Reconnaissance Battalion. We deployed to southern Iraq as Task Force Panther, and I was the battalion intelligence officer. I was in Iraq from July 2009 to April 2010 and located at Contingency Operating Base Basra in southern Iraq. The base itself is actually like a small city. When we got there, one of the first things we noticed that the air was always dusty. There's a lot of particulates in the air just from uh, being in that desert environment. Uh, the temperatures were hot. It would get up to 120 degrees Fahrenheit. Pretty much any time we walked outside, we would immediately start to sweat. If you look around the base, we noticed a lot of cement walls and barbed wire everywhere. I always had an M9 pistol by my side because we were in a war zone, and that brought about some stress. So each day I'd run about three miles on the treadmill. And each day before I went to work, I'd look at the picture of my fiance, Janet Durfel, next to my bed. And it would remind me of what I had to come home to. I went outside the wire approximately 15 to 20 times. That's where we actually go out and do missions in Iraq. As a professional soldier, we're always leaning forward, thinking about what could happen next. While we were out on these missions, I always knew this was the right thing to do because so many people depended on us. Other soldiers, their families, our families back home, and everyone else back home, as well as the people of Iraq. Failure just wasn't an option. I'm glad to be back. I arrived back in Greensboro on April 25th and had my first home-cooked meal in over a year. I was greeted by my fiance Janet, who told me before I left she was going to need waterproof <laughs> mascara. We're getting married July 17th in Greensboro. Looking back, I realize it's important to challenge yourself every day. I'll always keep my grandfather's dog tags. They remind me about sacrifice.